Hi everybody, welcome back to Elisa's Adventures in Cruising. Today I wanted to talk to you about what you should pack for seasickness. Um, before we get into that, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're enjoying watching along with me. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and also, if you are preparing for a cruise, know someone who's preparing for a cruise, um, go ahead and feel free to share this with them and hopefully this can be of help to them as well. But what I wanted to talk to you about is seasickness. Now, I am somebody who happens to be very prone to motion sickness. I already know that before I head out on my cruise, I am someone who has gotten car sick. I, I feel nauseous after certain rides at an amusement park, um, airplanes, trains, pretty much anything that that moves in a certain way um, could cause me to feel a little funky. So I know that can be a consideration for people, especially first time cruisers, whether they even want to go on the ship because they're afraid that they're going to um, be seasick. Um, but I have a couple things that I wanted to share with you and hopefully you can pack in your, your bag as well and you'll be all prepared. Uh, like I said, I'm someone who is definitely prone to motion sickness, to seasickness, and so I have, I always pack more than enough <laughs> to cover me um, in case I do start to feel sick. You might want to take a look at my previous video on the 10 things I never cruise without uh, and see if that gives you some helpful hints as well and to um, just be prepared. So today I was going to show you, and this is not a new thing. Many of you may have already seen it before and used it before, but it is the C-band. Um, C-band is the brain, nausea relief. It's basically a wristband that you put on and it will help you with seasickness. Um, it is works on by acupuncture. There are no chemicals uh, in this, on this band. Um, and I know that's a concern for some folks. They don't wanna take medication if they don't have to, or they don't want it to mix with other medications, or they don't wanna mix it with alcohol, which is also a big thing on the cruise ships. Uh, people wanna enjoy their, their pina coladas and whatever else <laughs> poolside and um but they also want to make sure that they're not feeling feeling nauseous so this is something that you can find in i think pretty much any um drugstore i've seen them at walgreens and uh, cvs rite aid uh, walmart target um any of the stores like that that have is a pharmacy or has a pharmacy section will probably have them. Um, I got this set from Amazon actually. It was $8.50 I believe. They come in different size pack. This one was eight, about $8.50 I believe for two. I'll put the, the link in the description below so you guys can take a look and see if, if that helps you find it easily. Um, but you can buy uh, buy them in larger sizes, I believe. Like if you were buying enough for uh, your your whole family or multiple people going on a trip, um, they do come in different size packs. But this is a packet a package of two. Again, it was about eight dollars and fifty cents. So this is what the set of C bands look like in the case. Um, you can also see there is a little pamphlet inside to show you how to wear them and just explain how, how they're intended to be used. Now, this is one set. Um, it, when we open up the, um, pamphlet here, it's one, one set, two bands for one person. So I'm pretty sure it says on here. One band must be worn on each wrist to be effective. Now, to be honest, I I usually wear one, but like I said, I am someone who's all who is very prone to motion sickness, so it's not my only it's not the only thing that I have. Um, 
it, I guess it's up, it's up to you. You see which which method works better for you, whether you need one band or both band, but it is recommended um, here in the instructions that it, it needs to be two bands, one on each wrist to be the most effective. Um, so you take the band out. It has this little sort of button on the inside of the band and that is the what is going to apply pressure um, on your wrist to to uh, you know work as as acupuncture um, again comes with instructions on where you're to place it on your wrist but basically it's saying you use your three middle fingers to, <laughs> to locate the correct spot on your wrist okay i'm not really good at showing this here on the diagram, the three little three fingers down on your wrist at the bottom of the third finger is where you want this pressure point to be. So like that. Three down, pressure point there on your wrist. It's a very Comfort, comfortable, soft, stretchy cotton band. And same thing on the other wrist. Three fingers down is where the pressure point needs to go. And you put that on your, on your wrist. Now, it's kind of, I personally, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't usually wear it or the both could wear them both at the same time because now I'm feeling like superpower <laughs> Wakanda forever or something Wonder Woman <laughs> I do not want to be seasick um, I don't want to be car sick I don't want to be motion sick it is not fun but if you've gone through all the trouble of planning your cruise vacation Paying for your cruise vacation, once you get on that ship, you want to head for the fun and you do not want to be um, stuck in your cabin, lying down, taking medications, hugging the porcelain throne, as they say, um, and feeling bad. So I highly re recommend um, having C-bands on at least a half hour before I put them on a half hour before I board the ship, but I guess really a half hour before um, you set sail, before you start to feel the motion to get yourself used used to them. Um, but again, it's one of those, once you have it on for a few minutes, you're gonna kind of forget about it. It's, they're, they're very comfortable. I know I don't know if these come in sizes, but they're very soft, very flexible. I think it's a, it's a one size fits most. Um, it, that's exactly what it says. One size fits most. Um, and you'll be very, very comfortable with them on. Um, you wear them all day. Um, I guess if you feel like you don't need it, you can take it off. And then if you feel like you, you do need it, you, you just put it back on. I highly recommend if you've never cruised before that you want to have something with you just in case. Now the cruise ships, um, the bigger the ships, I'd say the smoother the, the, the ride is, but that depends on where you are in the, on the ship. If your cabin is on a lower level, nothing wrong with that, but if you're on a lower, a lower level, just at a theater, in your cabin, at whatever venue on the ship, you are more likely to feel the rumble of the engines, the movement of the ship more. If you're on a higher level, like if you're up on the uh, on a deck, you know, sunbathing or by the pools, you don't feel it nearly as nearly as much. Um, but again this is such a quick and easy thing to comfortably wear and not have to worry about feeling the motion <laughs> but people are surprised that the people who don't normally get seasick or motion sick 
they are surprised. I find that if they have been up on deck, up on one of the high decks um, most, most of the day or at the pool or whatever, and then they come down to one of the lower levels to where theaters usually are, and they're kind of like, do you feel that? Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> It, it, it becomes more noticeable, like I said, depending on where you are. Um, usually midship is the s most smooth sections of the, of the ship. If you're in the rear, you might feel, you know, I don't know if that would technically be part of the wake, but you might feel it more in the rear of the ship or you might feel it more in the, in the front of the ship as you're, you know, sort of plowing your way through, through the water. But again, this is something that's very comfortable, very easy, very inexpensive that you could have and uh, put on to help you if you do start feeling a little queasy, a little motion sick um, from being on the cruise ship. So I highly, highly recommend that. Again, there are no chemicals, um, no medication inside the band. It works purely on it on acupuncture and hey you want to get on that ship and have a great time so become a super cruiser wear your bands <laughs> um, also by this company is um, I found um, ginger gum now you know ginger uh, is has lots of medicinal properties and normally it helps um, soothe an upset stomach. This is recommended again for um, well, for motion sickness, for more morning sickness and for occasional nausea. This pack, I believe again, was about $7, between seven and $8. I also um, ordered this from Amazon and we'll put the link in the description below. Um, it's 24 pieces. Of gum in this package and again I just think it's a super easy thing to have handy um, just in case you get that little wave of nausea that little queasy feeling you can have a piece of gum and hopefully that will uh, help you help soothe your stomach and that's all you need I would not, again, I would not just go with one or the other. If you are someone who is prone to motion sickness, if you know ahead of time that you are likely to get sick, <laughs> you want to look at lots of options. Um, for me, I don't believe the gum would be enough on its own. Um, maybe if I just sort of, if I was coming off the ship, going on shore, then getting in a, in a, 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 a tour bus or a taxi or something, and it's just sort of the change in the rhythm of the motion and you get a little queasy. I'm sorry for those folks who don't have any idea what I'm talking about. God bless you that you don't suffer from this because it is not fun but just if you if you that that transition and you have a little queasy feeling this would be a quick fix to help um soothe that and help you continue on your day but it, for me this would not be enough for my whole trip i am gonna need um some medication just to um really stay on stay on track stay even and just be able to have the best time possible I, I i did like i do like the gum just again as a quick little you have a, a little bout of nausea you want something quick handy in your purse this will help you um it is a nice ginger flavor if you if you like ginger a little bit spicy but not terrible it kind of reminded me of having do you guys remember big red gum is that even still around not that cinnamon but that little bit of spicy taste it does have a have the ginger taste ginger flavor um but i'm not someone who I, I love sushi, but when they give you the shaved <laughs> ginger, I'm not gonna just pop that in my mouth. My mouth. That's a little. That's a little too much. So I wasn't sure how strong the ginger flavor would be. It's a nice 
flavor, but it's not super strong. Um, so anyway, those are the two products that I highly recommend from the company C-Band, the wristbands and the ginger gum. I don't know if I showed you the back of the ginger gum packet. Um, again, it's 24 pieces of gum that was about, um, I, I want to say $7, between $7 and $8. And um, a serving size is considered two pieces. As It says, relieving ginger gum as a medicinal herb. Ginger has been used for thousands of years. Now you can enjoy its natural soothing properties in a convenient, great tasting gum. Reach for some whenever you need relief from nausea. Each pack provides the equivalent of approximately 12 grams of fresh ginger root. It does have a warning on that it's not suitable for diabetics. Consult your physician before you before use if you are pregnant, nursing, or giving, or before you give it to children. So, just so you know, ginger gum, C band, cruising superhero. <laughs> please share with please share with your friend, your fellow cruisers, your fellow first-time cruisers, and go and have a great time on that ship. Bye.